Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you how I style the very classic pair of white sneakers in 10 different ways. Usually when I go for sneakers, there's two reasons. The first one is I'm wearing a very casual outfit and I want to finish it off with a pair of comfortable sneakers. On days I wear this outfit, I might be doing a lot of walking, I might just be having a very laid back kind of day and want to be super comfortable. The second reason why I like to reach for my white sneakers is when I have an outfit that feels too dressy, too girly, and white sneakers are great in making the outfit feel a little bit more effortless and casual. I probably reach for my white sneakers two or three times a week, minimum, and they're just a very staple part of my wardrobe. So I'm gonna quickly run through my little sneaker collection before we get started with the outfits. I have a total of four pairs, so starting with this one from Muji, this is my most affordable pair, and it's a pair that I really highly recommend because I think that it's a very clean and minimal design and it's also quite a comfortable shoe with a good amount of cushioning on the sole. For the price, I feel like you can't go wrong with these canvas sneakers. My two more premium options are both from Veja. So this pair I got about three years ago and this is a newer pair. These are the V12s, these are the V10s. I think these require a bit of a break-in but they're an option that I really recommend because they are a sustainable option and once you break them in, I think they're very comfortable. I also love the design of these, which is why I now do have two pairs. And then my last pair, which is my more high-end option, are the Golden Goose sneakers. Um, these ones just have a pink star, grey laces. I quite like the shape of these. I know the distressing is not for everyone, but um, these are a pair that I also reach for quite a lot. Starting with look number one, I went for something that is very comfortable, and this is probably my most worn look with sneakers. I have on a striped knit, tucked into a pair of trousers. So these trousers have an elasticated waistband and they're also quite wide through the leg. The reason why I love this look is that it does look quite smart, but at the same time, it is such a comfortable look. It is like wearing loungewear because the pants are stretchy on the waist and they're very wide through the leg. This is the type of outfit I love to reach for on the weekends when I want to be comfortable but also look polished. And it's also a great work from home ensemble. When I'm sitting all day, I want to be super comfortable and these pants are great for that. I think this outfit is a really good one to repeat and it's also a really good base outfit. So you can add on jackets, you can add on different bags and accessories to change up the look. So I lay my head to rest when the sun is rising. I'll start a brand new day when the moon is shining. In my second outfit, I'm styling this colourful printed blouse from Cezanne. So this is something I recently picked up from them because I fell in love with how colourful and bright it was. And the print was just so so cute, I couldn't really pass up on it. The reason why I want to style this top with sneakers is because I think that it leans very casual and summery. It's the kind of outfit I might wear if I was doing a day trip somewhere in the summer or if I was just having a weekend of exploring. I feel like this top with sneakers will be a really cute outfit to go for. To complete the outfit, I decided to add a straw bag to the look. And because the top is quite colorful, I feel like the neutral colors of the straw bag really work nicely with the outfit. All of the neutrals in this outfit are also on the warmer side, so I think everything ties in quite nicely together. To recreate this outfit, there's a few options. So you can either go for the silhouette, if that's what you're drawn to, and reach for a shirt in your collection with the similar shape. That means you can kind of tie it up like I did earlier, or you can wear it loose. You can also wear it as a cover-up, so there's a lot of versatility there with a shirt in this silhouette. Otherwise, if you really like the colour component of this outfit, what you can also do is opt for a colourful t-shirt you might have, or a colourful blouse. I feel like it'll give a very similar effect if you style it with these lighter cream and straw details. Cause you don't know me and I don't know you But it breaks my heart you looking so blue On the first half the year I just picked your name on the coffee cup With a stroke of luck the guy just messed up and me before we move on to outfit number three, I wanted to give a quick first impression of this top. 
So as expected, I love the print of it. It's so colorful and cheery, which is just perfect for the summer. But I think what I like most is that the cotton material is really, really soft and lovely. It's actually one of the nicest pieces, I feel like, from the summer collection this year. So if you are interested in the prints, this is something that I would actually recommend. As you can tell, the sizing is super, super oversized. This is in the extra small and you can see it's quite large. So um, if you're in between sizes, I think you can size down very comfortably. For outfit number three, I've gone back to the striped knit, but this time I put a black slip dress over the top. I had to think about what kind of outfits I like styling with sneakers. And one thing that came to mind of what I don't like is a slip dress by itself styled with sneakers. For me, the reason is that I feel like I get this kind of triangle shape in my body where it really accentuates that I'm very petite on like my shoulders and then kind of flares out from there in like a triangle shape. And the outfit usually just feels a bit unbalanced. So what I like to do when I wear a slip dress with sneakers is that I like to make sure that there's enough going on in the top area so the outfit looks more balanced. But I've decided to style it with the striped knit in the cutaways, I've layered a couple more necklaces on as well, which I think just draws your eye to this area on the top half. I also throw on a cardigan on top to show you the different styling opportunities. So you can wear it with a slip dress over the top of a little sweater, or you can wear it with a cardigan over the top. There is so much opportunity to style a slip dress in different ways. With the outfits where there's a little bit more going on in the top half, I feel like it looks really nice with the slip dress and sneakers because the entire outfit just looks more balanced in my opinion. In outfit number four, I want to talk about styling dresses with sneakers. So I've got two options. I've got a longer option and a shorter option. In general, in my style to begin with, I like more midi and maxi dresses over shorter styles. But specifically with the sneaker, I prefer midis even more because I just think they look a bit more laid back and it's more in line with the casual type of outfit that I want to create. And I feel like sneakers already lean on the casual side. It just looks better with something that is more effortless looking, like a longer, looser dress. The reason why I decided to show this particular dress on though is that I feel like it ends at the perfect length where you can still see a little bit of ankle when I'm wearing it. If it was to reach my sneaker, I feel like it's a little bit less flattering than if you can see a little bit of leg and a little bit of ankle. In the lookbook portion, I do try this dress with the white sneakers as well. And I do like it, though it's not my favorite. Because it is quite loose and flowy to begin with, I think it looks quite nice with the sneakers, but I will always be a midi dress, you know, kind of girl. Because this dress is so simple, I did really enjoy having the option to reach for something that is a little bit more detailed in the shoe. Some of my favorite outfits are actually really plain clothes and then combining it with more interesting accessories. And I feel like both of these shoes will work in bring more detail to the look. Don't you wanna get cozy with me? We'll dive into a reverie. Oh, don't you wanna get cozy? We'll sail across an ocean of sheets. The wind it shakes. In outfit 5, I am styling this little polka dot dress from Faithful. On the weekends, if I was to wear this dress with some heels, I feel like it would be a little bit too much if I'm just meeting some friends or doing something really casual. Whereas one with sneakers, I feel like it's super appropriate and a very fun weekend look. Quick thing I wanted to note is that in a perfect world, this dress will be a few centimeters shorter where I could see a bit more ankle like the last dress. This one is almost bordering on being a little bit too long for me to wear with sneakers, but Nothing that can't be fixed with a little bit of shortening of the hem. Another quick thing to mention is that the skirt of this is as full as I would want to go when I'm wearing sneakers. When I look at my personal outfit styling sneakers, I tend not to like very full or voluminous skirts worn with sneakers. Once again, it's about the proportions where if it's very full at the bottom and I'm wearing a flat shoe, I feel like all the heaviness is at the bottom of the outfit 
and it's not as balanced as it could be. This is something that I don't really think too much about in my day-to-day -day styling, but I do know that I almost never reach for that voluminous type of skirt or dress with my sneakers because I just feel like it doesn't go as well as some of the other pieces. Next up, I have a couple of very simple denim and sneaker looks, which I feel like is the very basic of sneaker outfits. With my jeans, I always tend to prefer when you can see a little bit of ankle, similar to what I was talking about with the dresses. So I like to roll them up just a little bit at the ankle to make it look a bit more flattering. I really don't know what it is about this one, but if the jean kind of meets the sneaker and there's no leg showing, I just feel like it's not as flattering and I never like the look as much. So I always try to just roll up my jeans a little bit or just to wear a slightly more cropped jean when I'm wearing my sneakers. The reason why I want to style this particular blouse is that I think this is a super girly option and I do like styling my girly pieces in a more casual and effortless way. So I thought this would be a good pairing with the jeans and the sneakers to tone down the blouse a little bit. You'll see that there's a few ways you can wear this blouse, whether you want to tuck it half in, you can leave it out, you can tie it. There's a few options of styling this blouse, which I really like about it. We could stay out late until the sun sets past eight And the cotton candy haze mirrors the warmth of your gaze Raise your glass to mine and as we drink we would lock eyes So we could disregard the thought of ever having to part in outfit number 7, I am styling a little black cami with a pair of wide-legged striped pants. So this is an outfit that is a little bit different to everything else I'm showing today because these pants are a little bit of a longer style. These come to a full length for me and I actually really like this full length pants with the sneakers. I've been trying to think of the reason why I do like these pants despite the fact that they're full length and I do normally prefer something a little bit shorter. I think it comes down to the fact that the pant doesn't feel as off in terms of the proportion due to a couple of things. So first up, the fabric is really light and flowy. You can really feel that as I move around. It's a very light material. So it doesn't have like a heaviness um, to the style of the pant. It's definitely not structured and I think that helps with having a bit more balance in the look. The other thing is that it's obviously got the stripe, so it's quite elongating, and it's also quite wide throughout the entire pant. So in that way, it's not putting all of the weight at the bottom, it's kind of like balancing it out a little bit more. So I really like these pants with sneakers, which is definitely a little bit unexpected because they are quite a long pant. I think these pants, as well as this top worn together, can look a little bit like PJs. I mean, it does look like PJs, so I've tried to use my accessories to make it look a bit fancier, but I do really love this outfit because it is so comfortable. These pants are nice and loose with an elastic waistband, and it is just the perfect kind of hot weather summer outfit. We can take it very slow, very slow. We'll be kind of a star the top of the dark of a night sky. A night sky. Sipping red wine on the show. The time is right, don't you feel the time is right? Tonight, 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 tonight. In outfit A, I am styling this white cardigan with a pair of more workwear inspired trousers. So this is actually one of my favorite looks to wear with sneakers because I think it's so interesting to combine tailoring, whether that's a blazer or whether that's more tailored trousers with more casual pieces and sneakers. I think sneakers in this type of outfit make a huge difference in that it dresses the whole outfit down and makes it more appropriate for casual settings and weekends. So if you do have a lot of workwear pieces and you're not wearing them because you're working from home or you just had a change in lifestyle, um, this can be a great way to utilize some of those pieces 
and bring a bit more versatility to your casual wardrobe as well. I also think that combining these two opposites together, so your really dressy tailoring and your casual pieces, brings together a very interesting type of look and I always think that it looks super chic. In the cutaways, I'm always trying to pull up these trousers a little bit because they are too big for me at the waist and I haven't had a chance to get it tailored yet. So if you can just imagine they were two or three centimeters shorter, I feel like it would be a lot more flattering and it would be the way that I would wear them once these are tailored. I also decided to try these golden goose sneakers because it's got the grey laces which are similar to the pant colour and I actually quite like how the colours tie in in this look so this is a fun sneaker option as an alternative to the white. Outfit number 9 is kind of going off that same theme, but instead of the tailored trousers, we're going for blazers instead. And I've just started with my classic blazer combination, which is like a little black tank top inside and then some jeans. This is very similar to the last outfit, but we just kind of reversed it. So instead of wearing the tailored trousers, we've gone for a blazer instead. And instead of the sweater, I've gone for jeans as my casual piece. And of course, finishing the look off with my white sneakers. This is a combination that I wear a lot of, and I also have a lot of variations of this that I like to wear. I'm wearing a tan blazer right now, but you can also go for other variations, like a plaid blazer, which will give off a very similar vibe as well. If this blazer feels a little bit too oversized for your liking, you can always go for something that is a little bit more cropped, a little bit more fitted. I think it'll give off a very similar vibe. And then you can kind of just change up your jeans as well proportionally to fit whatever blazer style you have. And your pages made me smile like a fool. Maybe for once I won't follow the rules. I'll keep you until you're long For my very last outfit, I'm styling a classic blue shirt and then tucked into a pair of cream trousers. This blue shirt definitely has a workwear inspired vibe as well just because it is a collared shirt. And then the trousers also look quite smart. I feel like styled with the wrong shoes, this outfit can look very odd on the weekend or worn casually. But styled with the right shoe, which I feel like in this case are sneakers, it can also look very effortless and chic as well. So sneakers really make a huge difference in this outfit, so that's why I want to include it as my last look. If you ever put on something and it feels too much like workwear, feels a bit too much, sneakers are great at just toning it down and making it feel more wearable. I feel like this outfit is really easy to recreate, so if you have a white shirt or a blue shirt, tucking it into a pair of trousers and then combining it with white sneakers, I feel like it's a pretty simple look to recreate. So I lay my head to rest when the sun is rising I'll start a brand new day When the moon is shining I long to be with you In all the places you have been So today, I am time traveling So those are my 10 outfits on how I would wear the white sneaker I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, I'd love for you to go hit the like button down below and also let me know what you'd like to see me style next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!